Tomorrow, the High Point Police Department will officially have a new chief. Our Jackie Pascal spoke with Travis Stroud about coming into the position when scrutiny of law enforcement seems to be at its highest and how he says he's working to build trust within his department and with the community. If you operate in this area right here between law, policy, training, your best practice and common sense. This is the blueprint for the High Point Police Department. You'll be okay at the end of the day. Travis Stroud worked with his fellow officers to come up with this long term strategic plan right when he became interim chief in August of 2020. We really wanted the leadership and employee development to be the key. That is the base of what we deal with. I mean, I've always said if you, if you have a, a weak unit, then look at the leadership first. That'll tell you where your weakness probably starts. Stroud, true to his word, is not straying away from the spotlight from his new position of chief. This is the only place I've ever wanted to work. Born and raised in High Point, the only time he's left was to go to App State for college, only to immediately return to his hometown police department. Since then, he's never left, working his way up through the years from commander to assistant chief to now serving as the head of the department. I have watched it grow through my 49 years of existence. Uh, I mean, and I'll just love this place. So I can't imagine working anywhere else. Uh, I, I won't actually. So Stroud is determined to make his one and only workplace the best it can be. I have a list on my desk behind me that I've just compiled, just me sitting here, of 98 different things that we are supposed to train on. What people tell us, hey, you need to train more on this. That's a lot. Stroud says the pandemic put them even further behind on those trainings. At the same time, this year's shown them they're more important than ever as law enforcement faces a national reckoning. Where, where are you coming from? That's where I live. Besides putting training days on the books, Chief Stroud says his top priority is equipping his armed officers with cameras, both on them and their police cars. They only have about 50 of them right now, but his goal is hitting almost 200 by the end of July. Once you breach outside those parameters, and you'll know, well, I know where they are, I think, it's bad. I can't help you. I'm not looking to help you. Stroud promises to hold himself and his officers accountable and to keep up transparency with the public. As the pandemic winds down, he hopes to boost in-person interactions with a community collaboration board in the works. If you have the support of your community is almost like a force multiplier. It really is. And I will tell you, being a growing up in this town, in this city, we have always had the support of our community. While Stroud admits he underestimated how hard the job would be as chief, he says he's ready to take on the title with his team's support. I think a lot of our folks who know who I am, they know what I'm about, they know the lines that I'm going to take. <laughs> We've had a long-standing history of doing things the right way, but the interaction, the relationship that is built is over the course of years. It was probably long before I took any kind of rank. It's just, well, I've, I've grown up in this place, and they've grown up with me. In High Point, Jackie Pascal, WXII 12 News. Stroud says that the department is short more than 20 officers right now. He says that as they recruit, they will maintain their high standards to keep the department moving in the right direction.